Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of a vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. Our number is 844-236-6010. That's 844-236-6010. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side. If you have a comment or success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have a health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, 844-236-6010 is our number today and every day on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the bright side, please head to my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase longevity products off the website. You can also sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team. If you want to start a longevity business, enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business and help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. If you want to be part of the health business, if you've enjoyed health supplements and health supplements have changed your life and you want to help spread the word, please join the Brightside Ben team, or at least consider joining the Brightside Ben team, especially if you're an entrepreneur or entrepreneurially minded. If you want to work out of the home, make your own hours, earn supplemental income or earn a full-time income, please sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Also want to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com, or Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Transdermal Sea Balm, and our Truth Transdermal Sea Serum voted one of the top 150 products in the world by Harper's Bazaar magazine. Never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, water, silicon, oil, surfactants, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products, just active and functional ingredients. Every molecule that I put in my Truth Treatment products is going to make a difference in your skin, and that's why I use such little, such a small dose of our Truth Treatment products, about the head of a pin, or maybe a couple pin heads uh, worth of products product is all you need to get great results. And I'm talking about healing the skin if you're dealing with cuts or scrapes or burns, lightening the skin if you have hyperpigmentation, or if you're just interested in anti-aging, preventing wrinkles or fine line formation, you want our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Transdermal C Balm, and Truth Transdermal C Serum on your skin every day. And you can find out all about our products, our Truth Treatment products at Truth treatments.com truthtreatments.com okay welcome back to the bright side friends we're talking last we spoke we were talking about the rhythms of the body we've been talking about the rhythms of the body specifically the rhythms of health which can be thought of as frequencies or vibrations that are coherent that is they're smooth they're consistent they're intelligent they're orderly think of a coherent sentence a sentence that makes sense words that are logical and flow and are understandable we say that they're coherent we say the words are coherent as opposed to incoherent babbling 
The incoherent babbling of a drunk person is similar to the incoherent energy, the incoherent frequencies, the incoherent vibrations in an unhealthy body. The logical, coherent flow of words can be thought of as healthy vibrations or healthy bodily frequencies. The frequencies of health versus the frequencies of disease. And you can tell when your vibrations are coherent by how you feel. According to heart math, which came up with this idea about coherence and the importance of coherence when it comes to heart health, according to the folks at heart math, quote, the feelings we label as positive actually reflect body states that are coherent, meaning the regulation of life processes becomes efficient or even optimal, free-flowing, and easy. And the feelings we label as negative, such as anger, anxiety, and frustration, are examples of incoherent states, unquote. So coherence is associated with a calm composure, with feeling strong, feeling content. You'll know when your frequencies are coherent because you're going to feel good. On the other hand, incoherent vibrations are linked to chaos, out of control. Think of the last time you got really angry. You know that fuzzy, weird feeling after you get really angry or worried or anxious or the feeling you get when you're driving along and you see a police car with its sirens in your rearview mirror. You, you go pick up your mail and you get an envelope and it says IRS and you weren't expecting a tax refund and you get this weird tingly feeling in your body. Those are all examples of what it's like when your frequencies are incoherent. The clearest representation of the state of coherence in the body is going to be the breath. And in this fashion, the easiest, simplest way to restore the body's frequency back to a coherent, healthy state is respiration. And this is one reason, this is the major reason why breathing correctly plays such an important role in heart health. We have an epidemic of heart disease and the medical model is helpless. It, the medical model can do nothing to prevent heart disease. It doesn't have anything in its bag of tricks that is going to keep your heart healthy. Oh, they can, they can ablate it. They can destroy parts of it. They can poison it with chemicals, with drugs. They can stick stents and pacemakers and devices in the heart. But they cannot make the heart healthy. It is not in the medical model's purview to restore the heart back to health. On the other hand, while all the strategies of the medical model, the drugs, the surgeries, the devices can do nothing to restore coherency, actually, they do, actually all of these strategies make the heart and the frequencies of the body more incoherent. Every single tool, every last one of the medical model's tools makes the frequencies, the, the energies of the body more incoherent. But it doesn't matter because coherency can be reestablished by lifestyle. By simply breathing slowly and rhythmically, for example, we can entrain the heart back into coherency in a non-toxic way. Quickly, simply, inexpensively, by ourselves, without a doctor, without insurance, sitting on your couch. We can restore our frequencies back to coherency sitting on the couch watching TV. That's how simple this is. And then there's the whole emotional relationship to coherent rhythms in the heart. Emotions also act to entrain the heart back to coherency. Emotions, the frequencies of, of uh, fear, for example activate incoherent frequencies. The frequencies of love activate coherent frequencies. Fear and love, it's as simple as that. If you want to be neurological about it, you could say that fear messages activate the sympathetic nervous system, which has a fast, incoherent frequency, while love messages or safety messages activate the parasympathetic nervous system, which has slower frequency has a more relaxed frequency, has a more coherent frequency, or at least is associated with these more relaxed and coherent frequencies. So the two major sources of incoherence, disease, poor heart health, or coherence, health, specifically cardiovascular health, are the emotions and the breath. And a quick way to achieve coherence, that is a harmonious relationship between the heart and its energy and the energy of the body, which can get us into what we call flow state are the emotions and the breath. And we'll talk about that a little bit more detail when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll return right after this. Okay, we 
are back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, heart disease, coherency, respiration, if you're on a statin drug and you want to wean yourself off of it or a beta blocker or calcium channel blocker, there's no drugs that are going to make your heart healthy. Let's be very clear about this. There are no drugs that are going to make your heart healthy. Do you need drugs sometimes? Perhaps. But only for emergencies and your number one health challenge, if you're on a prescription drug, whether it's a a heart health drug, a heart drug, I should say, or any drug, your number one health challenge, if you're on a drug long term, should be to figure out how to wean yourself off of it. That's especially true about these cardiovascular toxic medications like calcium channel blockers, blood thinners, and beta blocker drugs. Even the more mild uh, cardiovascular drugs, your diuretics and your statin drugs, are not going to make you healthy, period. And there's no need for a statin drug, by the way. They're the dumbest of all the medications. Statin drugs uh, poison the cholesterol-making machinery in the body, theoretically, the theory being that by lowering cholesterol, you'll somehow make your heart healthy. It doesn't happen. To this day, nobody has shown that statin drugs can prevent heart disease, despite the fact that they clearly will poison the cholesterol uh, manufacturing machinery in the liver and lower your cholesterol. To this day, it is not definitive, and this is 25, 30 years after uh, these things first came out in in the late 1980s. To this day, they have yet to show that statin drugs can prevent heart attacks. But what they will definitely do, like all drugs do, is they'll poison you. This drug model of, of, of health is asinine. It is stupidity. I'm saying this as a registered pharmacist who's been studying drugs since 1983. It is just the stupidest idea that you can drug, uh, we can drug ourselves, medicate ourselves, pharmacologicalize, that's a word, pharmaco- pharmacalize ourselves back to being healthy. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. That's 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, or even better, if you want to join the Brightside Ben team, and make some money helping spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program, please call the phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. So you're not going to get better. You're you're not going to make your heart healthier. You're not going to make your heart function better by getting on a drug. But you will make your heart function better, and you will make your heart healthier, whether you're dealing with heart disease or whether you just want to prevent heart disease by working with coherence and incoherence. We've been talking about this for for weeks now. If you want more information, go to heartmath.com or get the book, The Heart Math Solution. In fact, everybody who who either has heart disease or knows somebody who has heart disease needs to read the book, The Heart Math Solution. These are the folks who came up with the idea of coherence and incoherence. You want to restore your body back to coherence. You want to restore the restore the frequencies, the vibrations of the heart and the body back to coherence. There's two major ways to do it. First, access positive emotions, love, forgiveness, godliness, contentment, peace, satisfaction. These are not airy-fairy ideas. These are hardcore biochemist, biochemical ideas. Peace, godliness, satisfaction, contentment, activate coherent frequencies. It's not airy-fairy. Via their relationship with these good emotions, these virtuous emotions, these righteous emotions to heart coherence, it's scientific. These feelings are detectable and measurable via analysis of the energy and rhythms of the body, via the energy and rhythms of the heart. They're quantifiable. You can use these kinds of, uh, of strategies, of techniques, to get real cardiovascular health. Not like drugs. Not like pacemakers, not like stents and devices and balloons and angioplasties. Real health benefits by thinking good thoughts. The second important element for achieving coherence of all the frequencies of the body, especially cardiovascular frequencies, is correct breathing. Deep breathing into the belly or even lower, into the bottom of your feet. Learn to breathe into your feet. The belly should expand as your breath comes in. And you, uh, the, uh, the, the belly should go in as you exhale. So the belly expands as you inhale. Buddha belly. The belly expands as you inhale. Think of a balloon being filled up. And then the belly comes in as you blow air out. And blowing air out is where the relaxation phase comes in. 
So exhale more than you inhale and always breathe rhythmically. Make sure you're in a rhythm. Five seconds in, five seconds out, or even better, five seconds in, six or seven seconds out. Exhale a little bit more than you inhale. If you uh, maybe raise your arms as you inhale and then lower them as you exhale, you'll get even more coherent benefits. If you have a hard time with the belly out on the inhale, belly in on the on the exhale, raise your arms as you inhale and then lower your arms as you exhale. Not a day goes by on this program where we don't talk about the importance of the breath when it comes to health. Usually we talk about breathing in the context of relaxing the body, activating the parasympathetic nervous system, but in reality when we talk about the importance of the breath, what we're really talking about is achieving coherence, achieving the flow state, as Dr. Mihaly Csikszentmihalyi says. He's a University of Chicago professor who came up with the idea flow. It's a little bit technical, but there's a really cool book that he wrote called Flow, F-L-O-W, Flow. And he talks all about the, the health benefits, the scientific benefits of maintaining what he calls the flow state. Incoherent vibrations is or are representative of the stress and survival response. And deep, slow, rhythmic breathing tells the body to stand down. It puts the body back into co a coherent state, a flow state. And ultimately, it improves the physical well-being of the entire body and specifically the heart. The folks at HeartMath have a technique that they recommend, they use, they call heart-focused breathing. And this involves directing attention into the heart as you breathe. So as you breathe and you're, ex you're uh, inhaling and your belly is going out, as the breath is coming in through your, through your nose, and you always want to breathe in and out through your nose. Nose is for breathing, mouth is for eating. So you always want to breathe in and out through the nose. And as you're breathing in through the nose, focus on the heart. Focus on the chest. Uh, imagine or visualize that the breath is coming in through your nose and it's going into the center of your body. It's going into the heart. This requires using a little of your imagination to picture the heart actually receiving the breath as it goes into the body through the nose. And as you exhale, picture the breath leaving the heart as it goes up through your chest and out through your nose. You can actually place your hand on your chest area where your heart is, right in, the, right in the center of your chest. Actually, your heart is offset just a tiny little bit to the left, but generally speaking, if you put your hand on your chest as you breathe, it'll, it'll facilitate focusing the energy on your heart. Breathe in around five or six or seven seconds. Breathe out maybe six or seven or eight seconds. Always breathe out a little bit more than you breathe in. It's better to give than it is to receive. Your breathing should be smooth, comfortable. You'll know you're doing it correctly when you have a feeling of pleasure. There's actually a feeling of pleasure, a feeling of bliss that's associated with correct breathing. And this pleasurable feeling is a sign that you're achieving coherence. And this pleasurable sensation is always available to us. How cool is that? This feeling of bliss, this feeling of pleasure is always available to us within a few seconds of stopping what we're doing and spending some, some time breathing and getting into the state of flow getting into the state of coherence. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We got lines open for you. We'll get your phone calls when we come back from our break. Don't go away. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. On the bright side, I'm pharmacist Ben 844 236 6010. is our number. If you have questions about uh, heart health or you're on statin drugs or some kind of cardiovascular medication and you want to wean yourself off of it, if you're on any drugs and you want to wean yourself off your meds, we can help you. 844 236 6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised or recommended, on the program, please go to my website, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call the phone team at 866-735-2470 and ask them about joining the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can be a member of the team. You can help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program, earn thank you checks, and you can also just get your products at the wholesale price if you so desire. You can also enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business. You can write off your home office or your stamps or your envelopes or your computer, your mileage. 
if you have, uh, if you sign up, just as offer one time $25 fee, you'll be in business and you can enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business. Call 866-735-2470 for more info or sign up right off the websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. Okay, we'll continue talking about uh, heart disease and while there's no medical strategy that can restore your heart back to health. We're going to talk on our next Bright Side episode about ways that you can really restore your heart back to health. I came up with 13 different things you could do, uh, non-medical strategies, non-pharmacological strategies you can do uh, for, uh, you can use for improving heart health. We'll talk about that on our next Bright Side episode, and then we'll get your phone calls here in just a moment. A couple studies I want to talk about uh, first, and then we'll get your phone calls. 844-236-6010 is our number. This is from the journal The Lancet, one of the more respected medical journals. Being active saves lives, whether a gym workout, walking to work, or washing the floor. I love this because it says that there's so many different ways that we can exer exercise. You don't need a gym membership to exercise. According to uh, this article in The Lancet, physical activity of any kind can prevent heart disease and death. This is according to an international study involving more than 130,000 people from 17 different countries published this week in the journal The Lancet. And physical activity, it, it, you, can't, you cannot possibly overestimate the importance of physical activity when it comes to cardiovascular health. People now, or when it comes to all health, sitting is the new smoking. When we don't move our bodies, our bodies shrivel up. Under conditions of duress, under conditions of stress, controlled duress, controlled stress, which is what exercise represents, the body grows, the body gets better, and you don't need a gym membership, just washing the floors, just walking up and down the stairs, just carrying your groceries in from the car to the kitchen can count as enough activity that will help generate connective tissue, that will stimulate biochemistry of growth and repair, and will improve heart health. But the key is you've got to focus on what you're doing. So if you're washing the floors, focus on the movement of your arms. Focus on the tension in your legs as you're kneeling down. If you're carrying something, focus on the muscles on your biceps or on your shoulder muscles as you're holding whatever you're holding. It's the focusing as you're doing the work, the attention that you're paying on the various parts of your body as you're doing the work, whether the work is lifting weights in the gym or getting on the exercise bike or carrying groceries. Whatever it is, it's the focus and the attention that you place on the muscle that accounts for the growth. When you're in the gym, try it. Try focusing on your muscles as you're lifting weights. Focus on your legs as you're walking up and down the stairs. You'll notice that you're getting more of a workout just by paying more attention to the muscles as they're doing the work. Okay, let's see here. Got a couple more. Well, let's see. I'm going to, I'm going to read just one more because I think this is super relevant when it comes to the heart. We're going to talk about coconut oil for the heart on our next, uh, on our next Bright Side episode. This is uh, from, where did I put this thing? This is from a study that was done in Sri Lanka actually, and I can't, now that I want to read it to you, I can't find it. Let's see here, where did I put this thing? You know what, I'm going to probably have to get this for you. I can't even find where I put this. Oh, here it is. New extensive research from Sri Lanka shows coconut oil and coconut residue has great promise for treating heart disease. This is from Health Impact News. Results of an extensive study on coconut oil and the diet of people living in Sri Lanka was, was published today in the Sunday Sun-Times. The report uh, shows that coconut residue, that is actually uh, components of coconut not related to oil, can actually be used to treat heart disease. Not only prevent heart disease, but actually used to treat heart disease. And this was uh, published in the Journal of uh, Food Technology uh, from, the, from the Food Technology and Industrial Technology Institute in Sri Lanka. I love coconut oil, and I know that there's all kinds of negative press about co uh, oils in general. Coconut oil doesn't really count as a regular oil because it's so stable. Vegetable oil is a problem. Coconut oil is incredibly stable, uh, incredibly stable to heat and to oxidation. And not only is coconut oil a good source of heart-healthy vitamin E, but coconut oil also contains something called MCTs, medium-chain triglycerides, which are important, uh, which can help generate ketones and are also an important part of the ketogenic diet. The ketogenic diet is incredibly valuable. It's a high-fat diet, incredibly valuable for heart health. And we're going to talk about the ketogenic diet as one of the uh, 
as one of the top 13 things that you can do from the comfort of your own kitchen and living room to protect your heart and to prevent heart disease. We'll do that on our next Bright Side episode. All right, time to hit the phones, 844-236-6010. Let's go to Florida and say good morning to Laura, who uh, we got disconnected from on our last episode. Hey, Laura. Hi there, pharmacist Ben. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Sorry we lost you the other day. I remember we were talking about the eyes, about uveitis. Yes, of course. <laughs> yes. And you were about, you wanted to ask me some questions, um, specific, so you can it was give a, me a I, protocol. You know, I don't remember exactly what we were talking about. This was for a child, correct? Right. It's my granddaughter. She's, um, she's going to be eight years old next month. Okay. And she... She had uh, rheumatoid, initially... you told me. I'm trying to remember. Yeah. She had rheumatoid, yeah. correct? Yeah. Right. So initially, she was diagnosed with rheumatoid three years ago. Rheumatoid and, arthritis. Uh, right, exactly. Now, they said and, definitely yeah. it was rheumatoid arthritis. Juvenile, they call it the JRA, it's juvenile exactly. rheumatoid arthritis, right? Right, right, okay. exactly. Okay, this and, is... Uh, Here's the deal. Ahead. Here's the deal. You don't want to focus on the eyes, the uveitis, or the joints. There's something going on inside her body. Her body is uh, uh, reacting, her immune system is reacting to something. She's activated, basically. Rheumatoid arthritis is an, an autoimmune disease. Uveitis is an immune problem in the eyes. Her problem is not the eyes. Her problem is not the joints. Her problem is the immune system. Something is getting into the body that's attacking it, that's activating the immune system, activating the defense system. Now, yeah, you know, I, I always say this, and I don't mean to be flip or, or glib or rude, but your your eight-year-old granddaughter is not sticking, in, sticking uh, uh, substances into her blood through her skin. She's not injecting anything, right? So how, how else do things get into the blood, into the body? Through food, okay? Most likely suspect is going to be dairy, but it's not only dairy. It has, you have to link her digestive system, uh, uh, digestive issues to specific foods. She's got to have some digestive problems. And if you don't know them, they're still there. You just haven't found them. You follow me? Mm -hmm. Nobody yeah. can have rheumatoid arthritis, whether it's an adult or a child, without having some underlying digestive health challenge. And this is true about all autoimmune diseases. I want to be very clear about this. There's 100 million Americans with auto a plus with autoimmune problems. There's no way you can have an autoimmune disease of any kind, of any kind, without having an underlying digestive health challenge. Laura, we got to take a break. Don't go away. We'll finish up when we come back. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll return right after this. Side 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking to Laura in Florida about her granddaughter. Laura, are you there? Yes, I am. Okay, so uh, rheumatoid arthritis and uveitis, they both go together for the listeners. Uveitis is an inflammation that occurs in the eye. Uh, what's your daughter's or your granddaughter's name, Laura? Serena. Okay, so Serena's obviously playing in the sun, right, in Florida. So uh, uh, probably people, her doctors and... Mm, Lay people alike probably say, oh, be careful of the sun, stay out of the sun, don't, you know, are you hearing that kind of stuff? Uh, my daughter hasn't expressed that to me, no. Okay, well, that's usually what they'll tell you to do is stay out of the sun. Problem is, it's not the sun, especially considering that your granddaughter has, uh, also has rheumatoid arthritis. That tells me she's got well, a actually, very highly charged, let me just say this real quick, she has a yeah. highly charged or highly activated immune system. The immune system is the defense system. That means something is getting into her body, specifically into her blood chronically, that's causing the immune system to become activated like this. Go ahead, I'm sorry, what were you going to say? No, um, well, recently, well, three months ago, she got tested for the RA because we were on supplements and gluten-free and the whole nine yards at one point, and her um, rheumatoid arthritis, had, was there was no showing of anything, okay. and she hasn't really had any issues in the past three years since she Good. was diagnosed when we changed the diet. That's it's awesome. Just the eyes that have been a chronic. So you got you more know, to do. On and that, off. Just, that just means you have more to do. But isn't that amazing how you changed the diet and the rheumatoid went away? Yeah. I mean, this is the this is what I'm talking about here. The fact that her change that you changed the diet, you changed the little girl's diet, and her rheumatoid went 
her rheumatoid arthritis went away is a fact that is lost upon the medical model. They do not appreciate the connection between the immune system and, the f and food and digestion. I'm telling you, you cannot have an autoimmune disease without an underlying digestive health challenge, ever. Yeah. Now, the uveitis is telling me that you haven't done the work completely. The dr more dramatic uh, indicators, the more dramatic symptoms have, the rheumatoid arthritis symptoms have gone away. And that's great. It means you're on the right track. You got more right. work to do. Look for other foods. See if you could find bowel movement problems, gas, bloating, any kind of digestive health issues, and link those to foods. Get your daughter on the Swero V, S U or granddaughter, I should say, S U E R O V I E. Have her do half a bottle every hour for maybe a day in lieu of food. So uh, it's hard for kids to not eat, but if she does half a bottle of Swero V every hour for one day, um, the next day when she starts eating, the foods that she ordinarily wouldn't notice were problematic will become more clear, more clearly problematic. She'll be, it'll be more obvious to you, to her and to her mom, uh, as well. So, uh, in other words, you're going to, it's kind of like a fast. It's not exactly a fast because the swear V provides the body with nutrition, but a, a mm -hmm. pseudo fast. We call it a swear V cleanse. And then the next day when she eats, pay very close attention. She's, she won't be able to do it, but have mom pay very close attention to any, any digestive complaints, cramping, bloating, discomfort. She may have to probe a little bit or uh, pay attention to the child's bowel movements and link foods to specific problems with the digestive system. And then you're going to start eliminating foods. Make sure she's using lots of veggies, uh, vegetable juices. She may not like vegetable juices because mm -hmm. kids have more sensitive are more sensitive to bitter. So mix the vegetables, uh, mix uh, in a little bit of carrot or beet with the vegetable juices. That will make them sweet. The vegetable juices are very protect. The pigments in the vegetable juices are very protective for the eyes. Have her doing vitamin C on a regular basis, a couple times a day, maybe half a gram. Uh, to a gram of vitamin C two or three times a day. Have her sipping on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine all day long. It will make an incredible difference, not just for her eyes, but it'll also give her more energy and it may allow her to, to help her, help her uh, keep her from eating snack foods and junk foods and uh, snacking in the middle of the day. So Swear V Cleanse, Elimination Diet, Vitamin C, Vegetable Juices, Beyond Tangy Tangerine. And keep up the good work. It sounds like you're on the right track uh, considering that uh, you, you helped cure her, helped, uh, helped reverse her right. rheumatoid arthritis. Thanks so much for no, your call, we, Laura. I got, a, I got a bunch of calls I want to get to. I uh, hope we helped I, you out. Thank, oh, I'm, shoot, I'm sorry, Laura. Uh, just got so many calls here. All right, Walton, Florida. Good morning. Welcome to the Bright Side. Hey, Ben. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing good. What's going on, man? Awesome. I haven't talked to you in a long time. Um, I'm 62, um, in great health, never had any acid reflux. Okay. Uh, this is going to be something I don't think you've encountered before in um, if you have, great. I want to learn, learn about what you suggested. But uh, okay. I started drinking alkaline water from one of those, those machines about two years ago. I loved okay. it. Um, I've had colitis all my life. It's actually cured that. It hasn't cured it, but it's put me in complete remission. Nice. just had a colonoscopy, and the doctor said, I can't even tell you had colitis. Your kid really? colon is just perfectly red and perfectly clean. Isn't that so, amazing? That, so you had colitis, you had an inflamed colon, and now mm -hmm. you don't. And, and they, wanted, was, they wanted to resection my colon at one time. I was taking unbelievable. Thalazine, cort cortenomous, everything. But if you oh. put the body in an alkaline state, it can heal itself. And you know that. Well, you here's talk the about thing. That all the time. The Here's the thing, alkaline state, uh, alkalinity, yes, you're right, is associated with health. But the take-home message here, Walt, for everybody listening, especially new listeners, is the body heals, the body recovers. They were going to hack you open. They were going to resection your colon. They were going to do major surgery on you and, and, and put you at risk for adhesions and scar tissue and digestive problems for the rest of your life. And here you do, with, with simple non-medical strategies, you heal yourself. And that's the take-home message for everybody listening. The body is a healing and regenerating system. We simply have to leverage it and access it. I'm sorry, Walt. Go ahead. What was your question? No doubt, no doubt. But the, the flip side of this is a negative, and it's frustrating. The heart. I can the, deal with the, it. The heart. The reflux. Okay. All right. Yeah. No, and here's my here's my um, layperson's analogy, not analogy, but synopsis of what's happening. Okay. When I drink my water in the morning on an empty stomach, you have a valve in your stomach called the pyloric valve. So the water okay. empties right into the small intestine. Great. Uh, okay. But if I've eaten something and there's still food in my stomach and it's digesting and I try to wait a couple of hours before I drink this water now, um, I get acid reflux because the body's being fooled by the production of by the alkaline water, and it, and it reduces the production of acidic acid. Or, or excuse me, it's the opposite. It makes more. 
assets. I'm not so sure I'm buying that. I mean, okay. I, I hear what you're saying, but I'm not sure I'm going to buy that. Here's the thing. When I think of acid reflux, I think of two major things. Number one, the wrong food, and number two, an activated stress nervous system or sympathetic nervous system. They could be related. So mm -hmm. see if you can link. Are you saying that you get the reflux when you just drink water, you don't eat food? No. The opposite. So you have to have food in there. Uh, right. Well, okay. it, like, like today, I had breakfast about, came home from uh, my trip about 9 o'clock and started drinking the water uh, about 11 and no, I had dr drunk the water before, and after my meal, I drank regular, clean, pure water, not alkaline water. But about okay. 11 o'clock, I started to get the acid reflux. I, uh, I, would, I can't figure it out. I would, this is, you're going to have to be, do a little detective work to figure it out. And the best way to do this is uh, lay off a of food for a day, or maybe two. If you can do a complete fast, that would be ideal. If mm -hmm. not, do a swear OV cleanse, as I explained with our last caller. But the, mm -hmm. uh, you don't have any solid food for a day or two. Okay, ideally a complete fast. Then when you start eating again, don't do the alkaline water. Just do one type of food. And by one type of food, I'm talking about instead of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, just have bread. Or instead of pasta fajoule, just have pasta. Or whatever it is. And start off with your favorite food. So eat simply. Eat one type of food. And uh, start off with your favorite food and see what happens. You're going to have to do a controlled experiment here. And if you have too many variables, you're not going to be able to tell what's what. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So just eat one type of food and see if you can link a specific and start with your favorite food. See if and it usually is going to be your favorite food or foods. See if you can link the food up to the to the heartburn. And that's best case scenario. You'll find that specific foods are causing the acid reflux or the uh, the heartburn kind of the, the it's, mm -hmm. it's so, is it heartburn or is it just acid coming up in your mouth? No, not in my mouth. It's down below. It's like uh, okay, uh, so it's like a burn. The sternum area. Yeah, that's heartburn. Okay, see if you could link specific foods up to the heartburn, and then you're going to eventually you're going to get a list of foods that cause the problem. You're going to eliminate those foods. The next thing you're going to do, and if you ha aren't already doing this, is get on the best probiotic supplement you could find. I like the Nightly Essence, and take lots of them, maybe a hundred billion units a day, and look for no. multiple multiple strains. I like the Nightly Essence the best, but you'll have to experiment a little bit. Sometimes okay. people get better results from one brand or another. Uh, but uh, probiotics are going to be very helpful for you. Are you using enzymes with your meals, digestive enzymes yeah, with I your meals? Yeah, I take enzymes. I've also been taking hydrochloric yeah. acid with the meal I, as well. Okay, good. St stay on all of that. Between yeah. the uh, isolating problem foods, your high doses of probiotic supplements, and the enzymes in the apple cider vinegar, you should start to notice some relief. Uh, mm -hmm. An interesting little tidbit about about uh, acid reflux, and my brother, uh, who had really severe, uh, he, not heartburn, but acid reflux issues, is uh, apples. I don't know if anybody told you about using apples. Uh, apples are an alkaline food, and uh, apples can sometimes help neutralize the acidic contents of the stomach. So uh, it's sort of an old wise tale, but I can tell you from personal experience, my brother uh, cured his acid reflux problem by eating apples. Oh, wow. uh, hey, well, we're, we're just out of time, buddy. I mean, I don't know That's where cool. the time goes in this program. Don't worry, if you, man. If you call me back uh, next week, we'll... Uh, We'll, we can finish up. And again, I apologize if I left anybody on hold. I tried to get to everybody, but it just doesn't always happen on the bright side. All right. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for listening, friends. Please check out my Truth Skin Health products, our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Serum, Truth, uh, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and Truth Transdermal Sebalm at truthtreatments.com. Also, our Longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. Thank you.